What is going on lads? Welcome back. This week we have got new Worldwide Player of the Week player selection uh, cards so we are going to get straight into that with a review i'll keep it as short and sweet as possible and let you guys know whether it's worth getting any of these players personally i think as i keep repeating lads if you are a newcomer to the game check out the gp marketplace check out the standard versions of these cards because you might not get a saka at his standard version at like 94 overall but you probably won't need to because a lot of the time saka might have finishing stats that you're not going to really use out in the wing or out in the midfield like that boosts up his overall rating so if you are staying free to play or if you are a newcomer uh check out the standard versions of these cards you can also get a free spin if you do the event in dream team this week as usual every week you get a free chance of a free spin which i think is pretty decent if you want to uh, stay free to play and still get one of these players on the list but yeah there is some good players on this but i do think as well check out the standard versions of the card because sometimes they stack up really well you cannot train these player of the week cards they are set they're maxed out already so you are kind of choosing to either spend your time or spend your money either training up the standard version of the card and pumping in time and energy into doing that or else you're going to try and spin for these and get a chance at a really good card that is the finished article so yeah let's go so we are going to start with hanko and gonzalez and bruno we are going to just take a quick look at those dub freeze is uh and fagner and dupe all of these kind of these six guys here um they're not gonna really change the dial too much i mean you've got a very 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 below average keeper here in dupe obviously he's on a form he does have standard form there a rating for the player live update this week uh low punt long throw but look at the stats there man they're just not good enough you can get a player that's about twenty thousand gp that will have higher goalkeeper rating and individual stats than this guy so i would definitely not even bother putting him into your squad unless you're a massive fan of him um the same with fagner he's got some nice decent stats that's here obviously he's got a wavering form he's a a rating for the player update this week sliding tackle interception and fighting spirit he can only play right back but he does have speeding bullet and he's got 90 in all the team play style proficiencies which they've also added now to the epic cards as well to give you more of an advantage that's a huge thing i will say that's probably the biggest advantage if you're a guy that swaps and has a lot of different squads and is kind of in tune with the player updates and playing players that are on a and b form all the time I will be doing a video on that quite soon uh, to kind of give you an advantage there. You definitely want to be having a lot of players that have, um, you know, good team play style proficiency. So that is probably one of the main reasons for spinning for these. But 85 tackling, 85 aggression, 83 ball control, 80 dribbling, lo lovely passing, acceleration and speed. Yeah, this guy looks like a very good right back, uh, kind of run of the mill of what you'd be expected minimum in your right back if you are looking for like an end game squad. So he is definitely worth it if you do spin him. Hank Go, the left back, very similar, not as fast, not as pacey, but but very similar in every other aspect of the card because he's a uh a fairly tall left back he can play cb as well he could be low-key an actual op uh center back because he's got really good stats he's got really good height he's good on the in, at heading he's got good defensive awareness he's got good speed good uh stamina good physical contact and as i said he does have area superiority acrobatic clearance sliding tackle long throw weighted pass heading all his player skills as well as long ball expert and early crosser so yeah another decent one as well if you wanted to slot in there and have an option of a left back center back hybrid he is a good player to have bruno the newcastle man obviously featured he's got a couple of cards out check out his standard card it is quite decent as well unwavering form he's got a bag of player skills including on the ball skills he's got passing skills and he has got defensive skills as well this guy is a dmf i think he's better suited as a cmf to be honest because his defensive awareness and his tackling isn't the highest as well as his physical contact but speed acceleration pass and low pass ball control 90 and 91 unreal really really good on the ball player i think if you are going to be getting gruno bruno gruno bruno gruno bruno if you are going to be getting bruno i would definitely be playing him as a cmf that's my opinion next up we have got Dumfries who is down as a right midfielder I would have thought he was more right back I know he is playing as a wing back for Inter and wing backs aren't in the game as a position set so yeah he usually does play as a right wing back as far as I know correct me if I'm wrong but again he's got really good stats he's got a wavering form a rating and blocker interception sliding tackle so he's a very defensive minded right midfielder he can play right wing he can play cb and he can play dmf as well but yeah i definitely think 
if you're playing a 3-5-2, right, you need to have right wing backs and right left backs on your squad. You need to have somebody that's able to get up and down the pitch that is defensively very solid, that has defensive awareness over 74, 75. Good speed, good acceleration, good aggression, good physical contact and good stamina. This guy has a lot. So he is going to be a beast if you do get him. Cross specialist as well. You have Haaland in the box or you have Morientes in the box or somebody that is able to win the ball in the air. And uh, you will be able to, you know, pump crosses into him. They are worthy. A lot of people aren't using cross specialists, but they should be if they are playing that type of game. Now on to kind of the picks of them all, right? So we'll start with Correa. He does have standard form. He is on A rating. They all are. But this guy has super sub and track back, which are two really important ones. Super sub is huge because he's going to get a boost. And as I said, right, even though you can't train these players up, if you get Correa on an A form in game and he's got the top form arrow, He's going to shoot up. His speed is going to go to 86. Acceleration, 88. Kicking power, 88. Uh, balance, you know, 88. And then all his dribbling ball control. Everything is going to be in the, the high, high 80s. So as a right midfielder, I would definitely probably be playing this guy as an SS because he's he's got really good um, ball control and dribbling, but he's not the fastest. I think as an AMF star, or a, an SS kind of player running off, making those runs as a whole player, I, t I definitely think that's where you should play him as an SS, not out in the wing, and he would be a beast for you. Uh, we've got Mount in a similar position as an AMF. He doesn't play SS, but I think that's where you should play him, like a really, really advanced attacking midfielder. He doesn't have unwavering form, which is a slight issue, but he does have insane player skills, double touch, soul control, and heel trick, always uh, extremely important if you are looking to be on the ball really good player dribbling really good stamina balance I would have liked to have seen his speed slightly up I know he's not the fastest but for this player card I think having that speed at like 84 would have made this guy really meta because he does have really good stats in terms of his passing dribbling and balanced stamina and Tomori, a lot of people like him. A lot of people used him last year in PES 2021. And obviously the way that you could train these players up, even though he doesn't have unwavering form, he does have that interception, man marking, slide tackle, trinity of player skills, as well as fighting spirit. Would have liked to see him have blocker as well to make him very, you know, kind of like uh, overpowered. But there is so many center backs that, yeah, if you do get him, great, but I don't think I'd be spinning for him. Definitely not. There's so many center backs there that are better than him on the marketplace at the moment now moving into the top two we have got Diaby who I have waxed lyrical about look at those stats man 90 dribbling 93 acceleration 90 speed and 90 balance right he's also got standard form which is a bit of a pity but double touch scotch move soul control dipping shot rising shot heel trick insane player skills you can see his graph there is just maxed out dribbling and speed and that's what you're going to be getting in him with him you can play him left or right wing he's equally as good in both areas which is very important if you are looking to play a 4-3-3 or a modified version of the 4-5-1 with maybe one winger and one right midfielder or left midfielder 90 proficiency and everything as well is huge he is one of my top picks for wingers in the game him and Dembele and Anthony I think Diaz uh, and Neymar obviously rounding that top five out and then last but not least we have Saka Saka seems to go under the radar lads for a lot of people but if you look at his stats right even his standard version of the card he's got unwavering form on this one he's got track back he's got all the player skills you could possibly want on the ball and for when he's like um like passing the ball right as well as his dribbling is really high he's got speed in bullet he's got trickster incisive run and long ranger so he's a very unique kind of player he's able to shoot he obviously has 74 finishing but he's got 89 acceleration 85 speed kick and power is a bit low obviously you're not going to be banging him in from everywhere but he is a left-footed player i would definitely be playing him on the right cutting in with sh you know shooting and stuff or else i would be playing him on the left midfield if you wanted to play him there uh, you could use him as a kind of a crosser, a pure crosser. And I think the biggest thing about Saka that a lot of people are using him as now is as a left back, because even though he's got low defensive awareness, every other stat kind of rounds him up to make him as a very, very solid player. So that is it for the player of the weeks this week. Let me know if you spin. Let me know if you're going to skip. I will talk to you later. Peace.